Two of those soldiers defending Israel are sharing their experience on the front lines. One of them has ties to the Central Valley. Fox 26 reporter Sophia Lesios continues our team coverage now outside Temple Beth Israel. She spoke with the soldiers about what they're going through. Sophia, what did they tell you? Yeah, Liz and Monty, both of the soldiers tell me that they have to remain positive, not only for their sanity, but also for their country. This is a story you're only going to see here on Fox 26 News. We stay positive vibes, try to smile always. We're fighting with smile on our face because this is our country and we don't have somewhere else to go. Jonathan Ward and Pazia Kobe are now standing guard on the front lines for Israel on the country's northern border with Lebanon. Even though our friends got murdered and they kidnapped, yeah. uh, and you know, it's just, it's tough times, but we, we keep smiling and fighting for our country. The 25-year-old men say what they are seeing, most people can't imagine. You know, they murder kids, women. They chop their head off and uh, have terrible stories that you, even in the bedrooms, you, you, bed nightmares, you can, you can think about them. And they say this war came out of nowhere. To wake up on one day, the people of Hamas just crossed the border and murdered and killed. Slaughtered every... Kids, kid, everyone. Everyone that they saw, it doesn't ma really matter who you are or what you are. Have you experienced anything like this before? Something like this, nobody in Israel think the, the saw. The only thing that you compare for this situation is like is the Holocaust. We, we, don't, we don't have something else to compare for that. Yakobi says he was in Fresno just two months ago visiting his stepfather, Rabbi Amon Shore, who spoke with Fox 26 on Monday. He says a few of his friends who live in Fresno also just arrived in Israel to join the fight. I think the positive thing is that, that it's not only from Fresno, it's from all over the, the world because the world. everyone looking for tickets for, to buy tickets back to Israel, you know, to, to come to the military and do the best, the best as, they, as they can. Right now, Jacobi and Ward say they're not just fighting for revenge, but to protect their family, friends, and country. Uh, we can't lose our faith and we can't lose our positive vibes because we... At the end of the day, we we need and we're going to win this uh, to win this war. Jacobi and Ward tell me that they in they are in an area called Amir, and that's on the Lebanon border. Now they did tell me that Hezbollah was bombing the area that they were in earlier and also sending drone strikes. But they do also say that they plan on fighting on the front lines until the war is officially over. Lizamanti. Thank you, Sophia. Ward and Yacobi say they had already completed their required three years with the Israeli military, but this weekend's attack drew them back into action.